What happens if the sun goes out for 24 hours, or it goes out forever? Less and less often I have to feel the warmth of the sun's rays. What if the sun suddenly went out? What will happen to us after an hour of his absence, and a week, or maybe even a year? Let's start. The last fattens from the surface of the star, and the particles of the solar wind flew towards the Earth. No one suspects that our cosmic heart has stopped. In 8 to 9 minutes the sky will sharply turn black, darkness will descend on the entire planet, and no matter if it's night or day, the difference will be noticed. The stars will be clearly visible on the absolutely black canvas of the sky. The moon will not be visible at all, as it no longer reflects sunlight. For a moment before the all-consuming darkness, the appearance of a bright northern lights is possible, due to changes in the magnetic field around the Earth, and disturbances in the ionosphere. What is most terrible, photosynthesis will stop, and as a result, plants and cyanobacteria will no longer be able to produce oxygen, and soon they will not have a sweet time. 60 minutes later, on the day side of the Earth, there is a real panic, power and communication outages all over the planet, the temperature has dropped by several degrees. The Earth has begun to cool slowly from the outside, but from the inside it is still well warmed by the core. A day later the dawn has not come, panic and chaos are now enveloping the entire planet. The authorities of countries that practically do not control the situation. Humanity is trying to figure out what the hell happened. There are massive interruptions to electricity and water supply. The surface temperature dropped to 5 to 7 degrees Celsius above zero. And in the polar regions, it decreased by 15 to 20 degrees. Some plant species began to die off, and the inhabitants of the oceans have not yet felt any changes. Seven days later. It is still dark. The average temperature on Earth is minus 17 degrees Celsius, in places of tectonic faults. It is still warm, geothermal energy does not allow the surface to freeze. Most plants died from lack of light or cold, herbivorous heat-loving animals began to die, habitual life and activity on the planet stopped. Phytoplankton began to die in the ocean, the inhabitants of shallow water suffered from the cold, the surface of the ocean's shackles ice, individual groups of people, and scientists realized what happened, and began to settle a refuge for the salvation of humanity. A month later. The Earth still continues to cool, the average temperature on the surface is about minus 30 degrees, almost the entire planet is shackled by ice, most of the plants and cyanobacteria are extinct, some species of trees, especially conifers, are still alive, but do not produce oxygen, most land living organisms have died out, only a few bacteria continue to function normally. Life has remained, mainly near geothermal sources, and underwater. The crust of ice on the surface of the oceans, slows down the process of their cooling. Water is heated in places of oceanic and tectonic faults, and geothermal sources. But even in the ocean, the mass death of living organisms begins. A year later, the surface of the earth, and the oceans, will be covered with a thick layer of ice. California Institute of Technology Professor David Stevenson, believes that the temperature on the surface of the Earth will drop to minus 40 degrees Celsius, life will remain, only deep in the oceans, and part of humanity will be able to survive on the surface of the planet, in Iceland, and in other areas with high geothermal activity. Stevenson believes that the Earth will continue to cool down, for several thousand years, until the temperature on its surface is set at minus 160 degrees Celsius. And then life, in the usual sense of the word, will become simply impossible, and let's not forget about the gravity of the sun. Because it is unlikely that the sun can go out overnight without losing its attraction, if the sun ceases to hold the planets in its orbits, and the rest of the objects of the solar system, the eight planets, and asteroids, will simply fly into outer space, and some of them will collide with each other. As for the Earth, in this case, it will fly into outer space, where it can be bombarded by asteroids, comets, radiation, collide with another planet, or fall into the clutches of a black hole. There is also a small chance that after wandering, the Earth may be built into another star system, and find a new sun. But in the end, it is important to understand that this is just a guess, a thought experiment. Such a scenario will most likely never come true. If we talk about the real and future of our star, 
then in a couple of billion years, the Sun will split apart, turning into a red giant, while our star will absorb Mercury, and Venus, and the Earth, and Mars, will split its heat, up to several thousand degrees. And after five billion years, it will explode, throwing off the shell, in the center of the solar system will remain gradually cooling the core of the star, a white dwarf, around which will rotate what will remain after the explosion of the solar system. As for humanity, our fate is unfortunately unknown, perhaps by that time, we will be able to fly to other planets. But that's another story. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you and you found out something new. I tell you to like this video and subscribe to the find out more channel. Bye.